Hey everyone, it's been absolutely way too long since I've done a video, almost three weeks since my last update. So today hopefully will be a little bit longer. I'm going to go over a few things, show you a cool new product that I've been trying, and do a little bit of a ranty thing at the end, I think. Um, so okay, I'm not even going to talk about nutrition right now, because it is the holidays and everybody, well, I shouldn't say everybody, People with good self-control can keep eating healthier during the holidays, but I can't. I'm not in school and I'm working more, so it's all fast foods and snacks for me right now. So we'll just forget these last few weeks happened. And for workouts, I've actually been starting to do workouts in my room. I haven't been back to the gym yet. Um, my friend and I, once our gym memberships get renewed in January through our school, we're going to start making a actual um, schedule for when we're going to go to the gym and what activities we're going to do. We really like doing aquafit, which is kind of funny because you're kind of in the water doing like the whatever weird things that you do and everyone kind of looks at you funny and you just kind of smile at them and go like whatever. We're getting fit and you're just going to sit in the hot tub, which we do afterwards. Anyways, I'm rambling now. So I've started doing workouts again in my room but until I can go back to the gym and it feels good to do it again even though it doesn't feel good the next day like my whole midsection from my waist pretty much to my knees was sore as well as like under my arms the other day but it's a good hurt right like it's it's what you're supposed to feel after you work out. So as for skincare I've been still washing my face and um, using my new body wash, but I got this awesome new product from Lush. It's the Ocean Salt. Uh, it's not going to focus, is it? No? Okay. So it's the Ocean Salt, what's it called? Face and Body Scrub. And pretty much what it is, is it's this scrub, and I'll show you what it looks like inside. Ooh. So it looks like that. Kind of looks like seaweed or something. But it's actually really coarse salt mixed with lime and coconut extract as well as vodka as a, a drying agent, I guess. And it's so nice and it makes your skin so smooth, but it is pretty drying. Um, I just got this, I think about three days ago and I've used it every day. And so far it's really nice and I'm really liking it. And I don't think this um, jar is gonna last very long, but hopefully I'll be able to make it back to Lush because I want to get a few more products from there that they were out of when I went. Um, a little while ago, and the closest one's like an hour away, so it's not the easiest to get out there. So I guess the next thing I want to talk about is just, I'm not, okay, so I'm not wearing any makeup in today's vlog, and I kind of wanted to do it that way, um, because I figure I'm doing all these things in order to, like, feel good about myself and look good when I go to the conventions. And I could say it's just for me, but no, I want to look good when I meet all these people that I don't know. But I guess the one thing I've been thinking about lately is what if I don't meet my goals? What if my skin's still broken out? And what if, you know, I'm not as fit as I wish I was and my legs look chunky and shorts because it's going to be warm? So I guess that brings me to, I just want to talk a little bit about kind of self-confidence. And I've always had self-confidence issues and lately though I've been realizing that I really have no reason to. Everybody has their own ups and downs and everybody has their own things that they have going for them and have a few things that they wish they could change. Even the people that we see as perfect aren't perfect. They probably, they have, they have skeletons in their closet that they just don't like to bring out in the open, whether it's physical or mental or anything. So I think the big thing is, is I have to realize that even if I go to away to these places and I have to meet all these new people not looking as good as I hoped that I would, that I'm still the same person and that if people choose to ignore me or whatever just because I have a few pimples or something, then, you know, it's not worth it. My personality is exactly the same and I'm hoping that that's the thing that people like most about me rather than like physical appearance. So... I guess I just kind of want to say to you that you are awesome, you are beautiful, and don't let anybody tell you any different. And even if there are things that you wish you could change, do things 
within your power to try and change them, but don't feel bad if they don't work. I've been trying to clear up my skin since I was probably 14 and it's gotten better, but it's still not perfect. But I'm kind of learning to accept it as I try to fix it. So I hope that made sense and I hope that I didn't say anything wrong and that it came out wrong because I'm good at that sometimes. Anyways, I'm going to end it now. This is like five and a half minutes. So I hope you're all having an awesome day and I hope that my next one will actually be next weekend. I won't do one this weekend because it's Christmas and I'm doing my update today. So I'll do another update next week. And is this already been five weeks since I've been doing this? That's kind of crazy. So I'll do that update next week. I might put another, like a Christmas vlog up, but it won't be an update. And yeah, so I'll talk to you all next time. Bye.